Okay, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, video here showing some of the test results on the on this. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Uh, see what we got. I'll try to make it brief here. I know there's a lot of different big words and whatnot in here, and I can't say them correctly, so I apologize for that in advance. But let's get into it. All right, so here's uh, the email that I got from Aqua Biomix. Just showing here that the test is completed finally. Uh, they send the results uh, through an email like this with a with a quick link to get to them. Okay, so let's get into it. Shows here that I have a PDF. Just going to download that quick. And here it is. So, uh, as you can see, it says uh, analysis report. It shows the sample ID that I have here. Uh, the fluval is what I named the sample, the, the tank, the size. Uh, the sample date that I did was actually 10 18 at 12 14 p.m. Uh, the report date came back November 25th, 2020. Keep that in mind. You see the time frame from the October 18th to November 25th. It's not a quick test. Uh, it will come back here, but it's, it takes a little bit. Now, the, it says here the data provided uh, provide detailed information on the community of microbes living in your aquarium. Each type of microbe in your sample was identified by comparing DNA sequence Sequences from your sample with data a database of DNA sequence from known types the relative abundance of each sequence can be used to compare the relative abundance of each type in your uh, Each type across your sample As you can see it's got the link here if you if you do want to Now here's here's uh, where the report starts Okay, part one, it says diversity and balance, uh, number of uh, microbial types, 675. As you can see, I'm way up in the green, almost in the dark green. Uh, what was said is that the, the more diverse, or that my tank is more diverse, uh, let me start over. So he actually sent in a little follow-up note with mine uh, in a different email. Uh, it's, and he said that it's more diverse than 98% of the tanks he sampled. Uh, however, a high diversity is considered positive in aquariums. Uh, intact reefs uh, generally have a higher diversity than reefs that are struggling. Uh, this was noted as positive and considered to be very, uh, very good uh, going forward as long as my reef can maintain it. Uh, this said, uh, my reef also scored a very low score, uh, meaning the similarity of similar or tip, uh, typical aquariums is low meaning microbes of most tanks tested were very different so most tanks that uh, have this micro, micro, microbiome and mine have a, are, are considerably different uh, this could be positive or negative as the microbiome is more diverse but also different than what they have <coughs> excuse me what they have tested from previous tanks uh, you can see here I'm in the 98 percentile. Uh, if you read down here, it says uh, your sample was more diverse than most of the tanks we've tested. Um, well above the 50 percent, I mean almost peaking it out here. So I'm um, hoping that's uh, is good like they said. Uh, then as we go down here, you can see uh, the negative side of it. So in correlation, uh, there was uh, two different types of that that normally are in aquariums that are not in mine uh, not even enough to really have a reading uh, you know it, and if you look in the red here it says the uh, balance between microbial types in your sample is very different than most reefs we've tested and uh, it does have a you know an option here where you can look into these and consider adjusting your tanks microbiome Here's a, here's a, a, a you know the analysis basically showing a, a chart. You got uh, the abundance of each family. Now, 
these words, uh, altero, mana, desi, uh, you know, I mean, you can, you can try to sound them out yourself. <laughs> I'm not good at that, obviously, so, but you can see where the colored red, see, like, this would be, this is a typical sample here, and this is my sample, so you can take a look and see how much different mine is. A typical sample would have a large amount of this alter mana desi, now, obviously mine does not. Uh, the the green one here, the bacterial, ver well this one here, I'm just going to point to them. <laughs> obviously I have it up towards the top. Uh, it's not, it, you know, it's down in here on the on the typical aquarium. And this brown, now uh, you can see the the large amount I have versus what normal tanks have. And then these. Uh, these two oranges, I have both. Uh, they have typical tanks would just have the one. Uh, if you compare the the pinks, you can see the quite a bit of a difference, uh, especially on the this one right here. But that gives you an idea because uh, it's going to compare your tank to what they commonly see. And then it says right here, bars indicate the relative abundance of microbial families, families accounting for at least 1% of the community, either in your sample or the typical reef. Um, and as you can see, mine is considerably different than the typical. Uh, and then as you go in here, we have the, the, basically the ammonia oxidizing microbes. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to try to say these words because I'll just do them wrong. Uh, as you can see, I'm I'm way I'm way ahead in in that, and then uh, you know matching the same here, uh, still also ahead in this one. So I'd, in this category, I'd be uh, considered above the 50th percentile, which is actually good for ammonia uh, oxidizing. And then the nitrate oxidizing groups as well. Uh, as you can see, I'm considerably higher. Uh, I mean, I match with, I match with the majority, uh, but there's two here that I'm considerably higher in than the actual average. And uh, once again, it, and it does show that uh, I would be in the 50th percentile or higher on this group, which both these are good. Uh, these these they did say in the the separate uh, message that he sent that it, however uncommon it is, uh, these are both actually positive. Because uh, they do send a follow-up email kind of breaking it down for you. Now here's one that I have uh, that isn't currently causing a problem in my tank. Uh, not to say that it is not going to. Uh, the cyanobacteria, I'm actually quite a bit higher. But the the letter that was sent out explaining this is uh, the two that I'm higher in are fairly uncommon. Uh, meaning that uh, they don't foresee it opposing a problem. However, it's something to watch because obviously anytime you have that word there, uh, it can be ugly red in your tank and and uh, not do good. So I don't currently have the problem with it, but uh, I am definitely in a low range here on this uh, with Now they do also do the fish, uh, fish, fish pathogens. Uh, so they have, uh, you know, basically sh showing you uh, all these different types of things in comparison. So the typical range would be zero, uh, which I'm in zero on all categories here. I match up perfectly. So as far as the pathogens for the fish, I, I don't, my sample didn't show any. And this is more. Now, uh, I'm actually even, uh, I mean, this isn't much of a reading to begin with, but I'm actually even lower in that, in the typical one here, uh, when it comes to fifth fish pathogens. So I shouldn't have, uh, I don't have too many active uh, pathogens in my tank, if any at all, for the fish. So they should be, that should be a positive for them. 
The same way with here, this is another continuance. Uh, they go through quite a few when they're checking for the fi uh, fish pathogens. You can see I match. So I'm right in the, right in the category for that one. Now, uh, here, here they switch to coral pathogens, uh, and I'm actually in the same way. Typical range here for a healthy reef would be zero in all these categories. I'm also in zero, so that's a, definitely a positive. And then that's kind of the end of this report. Just kind of scroll back through it here, give you an idea what they, what they show on here. I was going to go over a little bit on this as well. Uh, I'm going to try to say some of these here. I don't know. I apologize for uh, butchering them here, but uh, it says, getting back to that where my tank has three of the five common shown in other tanks, uh, the Rhodobacteriaceae and Flavobacteriaceae and a higher level of uh, CV Brionsia <laughs> uh, than, than other tanks. So there's there's three that I have in there that most tanks don't have, and they happen to actually be high. You know, on the other hand, uh, the major uh, the, the two major families, uh, which is the Alter Mondacea and the Pelaga Bacteriaceae, uh, which make up half uh, in the average aquarium, both do not exist at all in my aquarium, uh, or very, very little, uh, which is, which is, they found to be kind of odd, but not alarming at this point. Uh, also, the, uh, I'm just trying to look through here to give you the best. A lot of this, uh, unfortunately, when you do this, uh, and you get all these, you know, you get the, well, you get the results back. Uh, it's going to show you where you rank and everything, but to, to really get down to the meat and potatoes of it, you actually have to, you know, Google search and look up these different words and see what they mean and then see what you can and can't do to alter them if you, you know, if you, if you choose to do so. Uh, so it, there's a little bit of excess uh, follow-up once you get the report, but uh, all in all, it's been a pretty interesting report. I, I mean, I, I, I guess I was surprised to see the uh, this one here, the cyanobacteria uh, totals that they gave me because I really don't have, I mean, I did early on, I did have some, uh, you know, cyanobacteria bloom in my tank. It, you can see in some of my earlier videos, it was quite aggressive, but that is all, uh, you know, went away. So I don't know exactly what these are. I'm going to do a little more personal research on them to see if there's anything I can do to even eliminate these before they do become a problem. Otherwise, this was just, uh, I wanted to do just kind of a quick video here, uh, give you guys, uh, you know, a quick look at what the results look like, how they come to you, uh, the time frame it takes. Uh, what they test for and so I hope you I hope you enjoyed this year uh, it was pretty pretty interesting to me well I hope you enjoyed that little update here as always I'll see you next time uh, if it if you did like the video and you made it to this point uh, you know definitely give it a thumbs up Comment if there's any part of this I left out you want me to expand on. Uh, if you have any other video ideas, like, subscribe as always. Have a nice day.